Ulster. Danska Fluskumskaya. In Denmark, where they have delicious food, they also have a delicious way to help them eat less when they diet. Fiber Trim Sparkling Fruit Tabs. A fruity drink with fiber that helps fill them up so they can eat less. Even when faced with... Delicious new sparkling fruit tabs from Fiber Trim. The European way to slim. Think of silk and what comes to mind. Incredibly rich colors. Delicate, touchable. Ridiculously expensive. You probably don't think of Woolite. I mean, throw silk into a sink? Well, why not? A lot of silks are washable. So what else would you trust? Woolite holds the color, keeps the shape, and doesn't cost a fortune like dry cleaning. Look, clean it wrong once and it's lost forever. I trust Woolite. Pardon me. Could I just say thanks? Thank you, Miss Meter Maid. For a job well done, could I just say more power to you? Oh, and uh, on this block, three spaces being used for illegal retail commerce at the expense of us shoppers trying to park our cars. Thank you. Pleasant days. back all you want. Still $30. Yeah, well, you should think about my tent. Because this tree should have a happy home. A home where somebody loves it. Hey, hey, hey. You dig it up $10. I got to dig it up $30. Now, I was going to ask you yesterday, what do these eat? It's a tree, man. It eats dirt. I mean, to keep it green and stuff, because uh, they can die, right? Watch out for fruit flies and red spider mites. Red spider mites? Yeah, but a great-looking valencia like this, It'll probably last longer than we do. You best get the plants in the truck and the truck on the road. Oh, man, come on. I got to move. Hey, I got to move, man. Hold on, sweetheart. Hold on. Fifteen. Ten. Who is it? Bonds, any messages? Yeah, any messages? They're on right now. Northwest Farmers Insurance. Mm, got it. Excuse me. He just came out of his meeting. Hello. Yes, Miss Goldfarb. I remember the airline investigations, of course. No kidding? <laughs> well, that's, that's great. <clears throat> no, uh, the air disaster wasn't great. Uh, you're right about that, Counselor. No, the air disaster was a tragedy. Uh, you giving me the work, that's, that's great. I mean, especially since a month went by, I figured I didn't make the cut. And, Oh, there weren't, huh? Air disasters come in three. I understand. Yeah, no, I never thought that was a silly superstition. Uh huh? Um, so wh when can I pick him up? Hey, no one. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. And uh, thank you. Yeah. There, there. Now, there is something. I got a couple of them air crash settlements, huh? Oh, yeah! yeah. All right, no kidding. Way to go, <laughs> Bunce Detection. Yeah. Not that we'd pray for planes to go down and keep the firm on an expansionary course. What's that smell coming from? You remember? Do you, Norm? What are you talking about? I just said something smells. All right, think back to our first night in L.A. We've been driving 19 hours straight. We finally get here, but we're lost on the wrong freeway. And you're yelling at me? So we pull up onto a residential street. It's all quiet houses and cricket sounds. And we open the doors to read the map. And? And what? Norm, that sweet smell came pouring into the windows. Norman, come on. What's a tree doing there? No, an orange tree, Norm. An orange tree with little baby oranges on it. I bought it for us. What is this, a hairdresser's? This is a detective's office. Hey, this ain't just decor, Norm. We are going to have oranges. We're going to squeeze them, make our own homemade orange juice with all the pulp that we want. We're going to savor the blossoms. This tree, Norm, it's like what California is. All right, well, you just keep California out of the way of stuff, all right? Hey, detective, you need a second operative on this uh, air disaster? No, no, let me see how this goes this morning. You uh, take care of them Flanagan files, will you? Flanagan, boring. Hey, do you mind if I ask the details on the mishap? 
Commuter flight up to Fresno. The pilots got to arguing about uh, their pension rollbacks. And uh, next thing, one of them says, look out. Ouch. All right, work on them files. And move this tree. All right. <sighs> hey, no spider mites for you. I'm betting Orange Julius by Memorial Day. What's this? Please, but you can't stay long. I have to get ready for work. As I explained on the phone, Mrs. Harris, I picked up the preliminaries on your husband's tax record, and I'm finding a discrepancy here between the dates that you say he was employed and what the employer said. Like almost a year. A gap, Mrs. Harris. Here. Maybe you can tell me what your husband was doing between June 76 and April 77. Well, that was a long time ago. So let's pull your tax records. Ma'am, I gotta do a complete employment summary. Excuse me, I'm going to have to call my lawyer. I just filled that form out on the advice of our family attorney and... Mr. McCombs, please. It's Marion Harris. I'm sorry, Mrs. Harris. Well... All right, when, when he gets back then. Thank you. No disrespect, but if your lawyer told you to fudge on this, he was good. <laughs> oh, now, uh, ma'am, no, come on, that's, that's not necessary, no. The airline's insurance company is going to write you a large check. Mr. Bunce, my life is now a 10-year-old kid and a $130,000 mortgage. And they're asking me questions. Somebody should be asking them questions. They've got plenty to answer for, Mrs. Harris, and nothing makes up for that. But they do have to pay, so are you going to let me help you now? My husband didn't work that year. What, he uh, won the lottery? No. No, he didn't win the lottery. And he wasn't in jail either, if that's what you think. He was in a mental institution. For how long, ma'am? Three months. From which I take it he made a full recovery since he was employed nonstop ever since at regular salary increases. That's right. Look, I just don't want the medical records coming out, okay? There are things in there about my husband and me, things that I don't think my son needs to know now. I don't see where they're going to come out, ma'am, because none of that's relevant. Yeah, I just wanted to check, Ms. Goldfarb, this second case here, this Skippy, Skipper to third, would this deceased here, this be a canine? Sorry to take up your time, Mr. Johnson. Personnel office sent me over here. Personnel does humans, we do dogs. Is this the deceased here? Actually, no. The deceased was Skippy the third. That's his successor, Skippy the fourth. Don't let any grass grow into your doghouse, do you? Mr. Bunce, there are 40 million children out there whose first knowledge of death we'd prefer not be from learning our mascot was charbroiled? Uh, charbroiled or barbecued, I need to know what your dog earned for your company and what you're out of pocket because he croaked. I'm afraid that I have this for you instead. What's this? It's a letter from our attorney, Jacob Rabbits of Chicago. Wasn't he the guy from that Bhopal mess? Bhopal, Chernobyl, etc. Why don't you hand it to your boss, Mr. Bunce? All it says is we provide nothing until legal process requires it. Come on, Skippy. Skippy, okay. hey, here he is. Skippy. Little tourist guy's yeast infection. I'm taking him to the vets. Hey, Skippy, come here. Oh, you're gonna like him. Yeah. Say hello to Mr. Bunce. Hey, come, come on, get off there. Hey, now, huh? hey, those are new pants, pal. He puts a hole in them. That's 23 bucks. Memo to file. Intercal flight 19. Passenger Skippy. Representation rabbits. Proposed settle 900,000. Second memo to file. Same flight. Passenger Harris. Softness in psychiatric background. Uh, also family attorney situation. Proposed settle 175. Kind of weird how that works out, huh? How what works, Mr. Bunce? The hound getting four times the guy. And you see that in report? That's a replaceable dog. They got Skippy to fourth already. Meanwhile, the woman's out a lifelong provider. But the woman doesn't have rabbits as an attorney. 
and the woman's husband spent time in the Laughing Academy, and the woman has who knows what other skeletons lying around she doesn't want exposed. We just have to dig. Excuse me? Oh, look, Mr. Bunce, um, this is competent work. I don't mean to criticize, but you're new at this game. Now, score some points. What is the scoop on his stay in the funny farm that she doesn't want exposed? What about the kid? Like father, like son on the uh, mental health issue? And what about her? Is she ever less than the perfect little wifey? I thought the point was to figure the guy's earning. Hey, ex-cop, you're talking to an ex-public defender. This is plea bargaining 101. If I can keep her scared of court and scared of revelations, I can close her for something halfway reasonable. I get the picture better now, Miss Goldfarb. Good. Go get him. I want to bring her in for under 150. So I can afford to get humped by this dog. Who says a dog will be interested? Goodbye. Hey, I touched it. Its neck broke. Oh. Plus, I went 12 more bucks on chemicals. I've been feeding a whole bunch of fresh dirt. Don't orange juice have to be outdoors? Well, I mean, your fern's doing great. Fern. Ferns live in swamps. Oh. You got anything? Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Isfahan. He's an arms merchant. He uh, speaks excellent Irano-American. Wonders if you need any more instruments of death. Great. I get the news plus the editorial page, too. Oh. Hey, Norm. You know a tree? It drops half of its little oranges. I got it in intensive care. Great. What the hell is all this stuff? Look at this mess. I just told you I got a code six here. If it's dead, throw it out. I imply from the detective's upbeat mood that the morning didn't go well. Lawyer hands me two claims, says go figure the earnings. So I'm trying to get a couple of facts a widow don't want to tell. I put her mind at ease. Don't worry, ma'am. None of that dirt you're dying not to tell me is relevant. So she tells me. Bing, bang, Miss Lisa Goldfarb is going to lowball the hell out of her because of the dirt. I cost the widow half a million bucks. Now I know why I don't fly. But if you're a dog with a hotshot lawyer, well, that's a different story. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, can I speak to Mrs. Harris, please? Wait, wait a minute, is this, is this Kenny? Kenny, hi, this is Norm Bunce. I was over there earlier. Yeah, is your mom there or did she go to work already? Kenny? Hey! Hey! Why is an Imer? No, would this be the dog that pees on the carpet and then carpet foam and picks it up? No, and get this place cleaned up, will ya? Oh, this is the one that can't get enough for chow down. Him I never have much feeling for. Beverly Hills Bunce, sponsored in part by Pantene Shampoo and Conditioners with a pro-vitamin B5 complex. Pantene, serious care for beautiful hair. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. My hair used to have a mind of its own. Then a few weeks ago, I stopped complaining. I started using Pantene. Pantene's got something in it called a pro-vitamin B5 complex. I don't know what it is, but I know what it does. Because every day my hair looked fuller and shinier. The ends didn't split. Or look frizzy. No, it didn't happen overnight, but it did happen. You'll see. Pantene. Serious care for beautiful hair. When asked to wash as many dishes as they could, some of the top dishwashing liquids met with disappointment. The pink one wasn't at all tickled about stopping here. The sunny one turned out to be a real lemon stopping here. This old-timer was green with envy about stopping here. Because a new one with longer-lasting suds went on to be all of them by about 700 dishes and didn't stop till here. New Ivory, the dishwashingest liquid of all. Saturday on the Facts of Life, the girls have a double date. Great, the weasel's here. That turns into double disaster. Don't call my snake a weasel. Stick a sock in it. Then on 227. I'm going to be a Washington Redskins cheerleader. Can she snag a tight end? He got the greatest hands in football. Can I pick him or what? <laughs> Saturday. Lee Majors and Lindsay Wagner are back by popular demand. Joined by a son with a blinding force. The return of the $6 million man and the bionic woman Friday. Mrs. Harris. Mr. Bunce. I made a misstatement before. 
Ted, I need five minutes. Look, I'm new at this. In fact, uh, this is my first two cases today, Mr. Harris, and I just want to make sure I'm square with you here. About what? About this mental hospital business. You see, you don't want to disclose. And even though it ain't relevant in the court testimony, they want to play dirty. They can threaten it'll slip out, scare you into settling. I told you that. I told you they could do something. Now, you screwed me up here. You knew that I wanted to talk to my lawyer. Ma'am, if I could even things with a suggestion, why don't you change lawyers? Get a, a hot shot like this rabbits guy or somebody. You ever hear of him? He's from Chicago. What, do you get a commission on the side from these guys or what? No, I don't, but it happens the insurance company respects those people. I'll bet I know why, too, because they're just as cold as the airline. You think lawyers didn't call me up? That guy from Texas, one of his people. Crap, Mr. Bunn. Fred and, and my husband, they grew up together. He's been with us. You wouldn't understand that part, would you? I understand you need money to get your life back together. Yeah, and if we don't get it now, it's your fault. Mr. Fred McCombs, excuse me, Norm Bunce. I'm working on the Intercal air disaster. Your client, Marion Harris. She called in about you. I told her not to speak with you anymore. Uh, just a, a minute of your time, Mr. McCombs, all right? Your client's got a problem. All right, come on in. You're her problem right now, Mr. McCombs. Excuse me? You got any idea how these cases work? Of course. They accumulate data, make an offer that's too low. We nudge them higher, they nudge us lower, and we settle. There's low offers, and then there's low offers. These people play on people's feelings. People are grieving. They don't want to fight. Secrets in a closet they don't want discovered. Or a weak lawyer. Say a family lawyer. People are leaning on him for support, but he don't know beans about air crashes. That's not true. Look, you're supposed to be her old family friend. Could I suggest you do a friendly thing and refer her to one of the pros, like uh, Jacob Rabbits? You're kidding. Hey. A dog is getting nearly four times what your client's getting. Look, rabbits may be good, but I'm good too. And you could believe I'd step aside if Marion Harris wanted me to, but she won't. The woman's a saint. Uh, how's that? I mean, she's a simple, loyal, honest person, Mr. Bunce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but overall, you think you could describe Mrs. Harris as a saint and nobody choke? You could give it a try. You mean in court? Short-term memory loss, McComb. She don't want this thing in court, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I know. All right. Yeah, all right. You're right. You're right. Look, Mrs. Harris, look. If you could just give me the names of ten people that can say something decent about you, you won't have to talk to me again. Huh? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, you got a pen? She'd be an okay neighbor if her dog didn't bark all the time. Do you know if she helped with the charity? I told her you can't leave a dog out if he barks all the time. And she told me he likes to be out. <laughs> well, considerate to animals. You say you got the highest respect for Mrs. Harris. What does that mean? Uh, she helps her kid with his homework? She works nights. The boy's pretty much on his own. <clears throat> why you admire her? I'm asking why you admire her. Mr. Bunce, Mrs. Harris's husband was killed in a plane crash. I'm aware of that. Uh, look, is she in the PTA? All parents are automatically in the PTA. Okay, PTA. Now what else? Uh-huh. 4214, this block. Mrs. Harris? I'm new on this route. I've never even seen her. Come on, it's a great big tin mailbox. It's a big mailbox? Yeah, kind of rusty. 4214, Harris. I'll tell you this much. People with big enough mailboxes? Yeah. They ought to get a medal. Because people got these little teensy tiny ones now. You can't fit all this stuff in them. There's no room. Now you stand behind your words on that. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Postman. Recommended for citizenship medal by U.S. Postal Service. All right, let's see what else you got. Well, I don't know about this one here. This guy says he's seen her naked through a bathroom window. 
Well, that's why I didn't include it. Religious pilgrimages. Oh, yeah, she went to see the Pope when he was in town visiting. She got stuck in freeway traffic and never made it, but I figured what the hang. Hey, you know what I would strongly suggest, Norman, is a little enrichment. For instance, these two, which yours truly could be a very solid reference. All right, hang out. Bye-bye. What's the matter? Are you sure this stuff is accurate? Why? She sounds like a little saint. Yeah, it's a shame somebody like that loses her husband in a crash. What is this Alvarado Children's Center? Oh, yeah. I, I couldn't verify that. It's some kind of Central American refugee place downtown. Could be communist? Hmm, no, uh, religious. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll try it again. Oops, there you go. What was that number? Uh... The uh, Alvarado Children's Center? Yes, how can I help you? You got a Father Murphy there? Oh, yes, May I? I do. Yeah. I believe he's giving spiritual instruction to the boys. Oh, no, here he is now. Father Murphy, how can I help you? Hello, Father. Thank you for taking my call. Uh, on a Mrs. Marion Harris. Yes. She's applied for a job taking care of my children. And she claims to have some experience with you in that area. Marion Harris, well, you bet she has. That woman has been a one-man band around here. Friend, counselor, prayer companion. No job has been too small or too humble for Marion Harris. Scrubbing the floors, cleaning the loo, comforting the sick with a, with a bedside story or a parable, and... Thank you. Memo to file. Intercal flight 19, passenger Harris. Exceptionally strong victim profile. Revised proposed settle, 750,000. Almost as much as a dog, huh? Win some, lose some. Hey, Laura. Hmm. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what? This is Goldfarb saying that uh, you ain't gung-ho enough for her kind of work. The widow's gonna appreciate him, right? Hey, I don't care who appreciates me, all right? I already forgot about it. You know what's kind of weird, Norman? What? All my life, I've been a hustler, right? Today, I'm up on the roof, and I'm putting an orange tree into a bigger pot so that it can grow big and good. And I'm adding all this dirt. And I'm thinking, this ain't so bad. I gotta hit the cash machine. Okay. Hey, can you see this, Norm? Not tomorrow, but someday, our orange tree inches one tree. It's lines and lines of them somewhere upstate. And we got shovels and stuff and hats. And we're out in the orchard, and we're doing some pruning. Trying to make everything just right. Far away, across time zones, big boxes of oranges are rolling off assembly line. And in New York City, people are waking up and they're saying, Oh, this juice is sweet. What is this? Oh, darling, look. It's juice from Bunce Valley. What is that? I wonder, did I leave the hose on? Sid! 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 How big a fuck did you put that thing in? How will you be paying for that? American Express. If you stop by our Minneapolis office tomorrow, you can pick up a new card. 
I'm having some trouble checking into this hotel. I can take care of it. Let me talk to the hotel manager. Thank you. Okay. A friendly voice in the middle of the night. Membership has its privileges. I can hear your heart. What's it saying? It likes that you've started jogging. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it likes that you're eating healthier. Anything else? Oh, this is about me. Oh? It's happy I'm giving us promise. Promise? Sure. We eat promise because it's been proven lower in saturated fat than regular margarine and has no cholesterol. That's good for me? Yeah. Eating foods low in saturated fat and cholesterol is good for you and your heart. You know what else is good for me? Mm. You. Get promise. Get heart smart. A perplexing problem has puzzled young people since the beginning of time. How to get a job without experience and how to get experience without a job. The answer is cooperative education. I knew that. Next, as Gideon and Westfall face off in a wild showdown, a pregnant man from the psychiatric ward goes into labor. Nothing delivers laughter and drama like St. Elsewhere. And later tonight on the memorable Best of Carson, Johnny Welcome's screen legend Lauren Bacall, comedian Roseanne Barr, and musician Robert Cray. Then it's International Day with Dave on Late Night with David Letterman. <laughs>